The Johnny Manziel media firestorm isn't dying down anytime soon. Tuesday, even more allegations surfaced on ESPN that an autograph broker paid Manziel $7,500 to sign 300 helmets at an event back in January. I've been keeping up. It just it changes every day, and there's always something else coming up. I just, I'm just, I'm just hoping and praying that we get the season started and uh, everything comes out okay. If the allegations are true, Manziel could be ineligible to play because it breaks an NCAA policy stating an athlete cannot profit off merchandise sold with their autograph. But now many are asking a serious question. If an athlete can't profit off their own likeness, why can others? Tell them that while you're going to make, you know, billions of dollars on TV contracts as, a, as an institution for the NCAA, that they're not allowed to make any money off of their image, you know, that's a little hypocritical to me. Dallas ship with Aggie Lane Outfitter sells a lot of Aggie apparel. He says it's against NCAA policy for retailers to have a search engine on their website with an athlete's name. We have to take that down because you're not allowed to do that. So it's interesting to me that the NCAA, of all people, was using that when retailers like, our, like Aggie Lane Outfitters are not allowed to do that either. The website has since taken down that search engine, but ship says the debate on whether the policy is a fair one is far from over. In College Station... Lauren Holman reporting.